Hey everybody, this is Brett, and tonight I want to talk about how I've reduced the phytic acid in my foods and have absorbed mineral absorption in my body. And that's what the phytic acid does. It reduces the amount of minerals that you absorb from the foods that you eat. And I guess that I just got to a certain point of where I was building up more than breaking down because for some reason even though I knew about the phytic acids a long time ago I really wasn't making the effort to soak the beans or the grains near as well as I should have. I didn't make the effort to learn about specific things that I'm going to teach you tonight but in any case you know when the student is ready by God then the teacher will appear and the teacher in this case was the internet and I learned that when you soak grains or beans nuts or seeds in a warm temperature of like 100 110 degrees with an acidic food like apple cider vinegar or lemon juice then it draws out that phytic acid and then what you do is you soak it for maybe four six eight hours you could do it overnight if you want or you can start it early in the morning it'll be done by like two or three or so then you rinse and drain in the sink there and I like to soak in a warm temperature in a slow cooker like that on the warm setting this one has keep warm and <clears throat> then you strain and then you can cook it and it will have reduced the phytic acid significantly depending on how long you soaked it for and how much apple cider vinegar you use but in any case then you'll be able to absorb minerals like zinc and iron calcium magnesium etc a lot better and so basically uh, recently today I made some pea soup and that's got collard greens in it that I picked from the garden and it's also got some rice and I, I just kind of made a goulash there and mixed a whole bunch of things together but all my grains now I soak all of them and the beans I soak all of that as well as see those nuts up there walnuts <clears throat> those were soaked overnight I like to soak those in in salt instead and I don't know exactly why but I learned that before somewhere else but in any case it just tastes different the food tastes different especially beans beans are not near as creamy it makes them kind of more fibrous when you remove all the phytates it totally changes the way they taste and you have to get used to it so um, be prepared for that and you know change is inevitable <laughs> and that includes diet too so I think that's all I want to say on this subject thanks for joining me hope you're well